Let me know in the comments below what's the thing that scares you the most in this world. Maybe knives? Blood? Needles? In the last few days, I got it all. Hello guys, my name is Doke and I'm back from hospital with a free holes in my belly. See? After my hospital adventures, I was like, hmm. Let's record a video where I will take a look at the most creepy and horrific art that I could possibly find on the internet. And for sure, as always, we will also take a look at our Reddit Doke Squad. So let's do it. Come on! Ah, can you see this beautiful lady? How she's just... Yeah, brilliant, brilliant artwork. Ah! Drawing I did when I should have been taking notes at university. <laughs> I guess that you've been painting your beautiful teacher. Hopefully she didn't see it. Or he. How to become a human. We got a birdie with a knife in his mouth. We got some bloody legs over here. There is a face on the table. And then there is this woman. Who looks like... Yeah, it looks like that somebody put her together from... Other humans? Hmm. <laughs> Death bat. Right now I'm gonna be serious. Have you ever experienced something like this? And I'm not talking about my stupid little surgery right now. You know that this is such a super strong artwork that it's a strong one. What the hell? Hell, that's that's the right word that comes to my mind when I see this artwork. Hell, no. A drawing I made when I was depressed. Hope you like it. Every time when somebody says that he creates something when he was uh, depressed, I feel really bad about it. Have you ever heard about a disease that's called um, sleeping paralysis or, or something like that? I don't know. But what's happening to you is that you're sleeping and then suddenly you are awake, but you can't move. That's already terrifying, but most of the time, the thing that starts happening at that moment is that you start to see faces like this all around you. And remember that you can't move, but you see them. I really, really hope that I will never experience something like that. Never ever. <laughs> I drew this on my whiteboard at 3 a.m. after a particular vivid nightmare. Ah! I wouldn't really mind this picture, but when you draw something like this at 3 a.m. after a nightmare. Ah, come on. What's this? Why don't you like my painting? Maybe because... <laughs> Sleep tight. This is exactly what I was talking about. You're on a bed, you can't move, and stuff like this is approaching you. Patron Saint of Greed. I like this guy. <laughs> this is super old artwork. Back then there were no horror movies, no nothing. And imagine that someone created this. They are coming for you, Barbara. Sometimes when I paint at abandoned places, I'm really afraid that I'll see something like this in, in one of the windows. Oh, man. First of all, I was like, oh, yeah, there was a girl on a PC. Nothing special. 95% of us do something like this in the evenings. With a one big difference. Look behind the window. There's a smiley. Okay, so there's a face. Then there is something what looks like a, a plant or something else. Then there are hands and then there are more hands. And I like it. I have to say I like how it looks. It's creative. <sighs> Two kitties are coming into... I won't continue. This is a really scary musician. Especially his 70 fingers are really imp impressive. And yes, I count them all. Watercolor, acrylic and ink. Oh my gosh, so much ink. Oh my gosh, what a lovely artwork. Yeah. I really like this one. It's not that terrifying. I mean, okay, this character is terrifying, but I really like how it looks. The story of the artwork. Yeah, this is this is this is great. 
Yo, yo, by Mark Acapo. Two pairs of eyes. I'm not sure if this is a mouth of or, or something. Jesus Christ. Okay, when I see an artwork guy that, like this, I'm just I'm just wondering, like, is this guy on drugs? Call. This forest looks just like the forest where we were fishing with my boys. And if we meet something like this over there, you know, it might be just a guy with with two smartphones on his face, but <laughs> yeah, that's so stupid. Insomnia. Guys, do you have any experience with insomnia? <laughs> Sleep paralyzes. That's it. That's what I was talking about. This is it. How? Made me remember that I used to paint in uh, in this abandoned building. And right in front of that building, I painted a venom over there. And right in front of that building, on a fence, there was a school just like this one. And there were animal skins all around the place. I have to say that painting at place like this is terrifying. Especially when you are alone. When I imagine that I'm with my friends in a forest, we have a barbecue, we drink some beers, and then suddenly I go to pee when it's already dark outside, and I see this over there, I would probably pee sooner than I should. Yeah, I, I would pee myself. That was a joke. Smart one. Or maybe stupid one. <laughs> schools. Schools everywhere. I, I have a question. A lot of artists like to paint schools. Why? Tell me, why would you paint the school? Sister and sister. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but an artwork like this makes me makes me think. Why the hell does he have wings of a fly? And it creates a story. And there is some man over here. There is a little girl, and I really like it. I, I really, I really do. I'm not sure if this is good or bad, but I feel inspired by these drawings. Get ready for my next creations. <laughs> okay, maybe this one doesn't inspire me that much. Yeah, I really like this one. And I really hate this one. When you're just looking at that artwork and you, you see all these faces looking at you, it's just... Whoa, yeah, nice. This is really, I really like this one. Yeah, this one too. I love it. Nightmare by... Interesting, really. <laughs> Look at that. Thanks God that it's not a winter time. Ah. At first look, you would say nothing special. There is a boy, there is some nice women but then when you look at the wall this seems like a spider legs and when you look over here you see blood and a shoe ay 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 your worst nightmare yeah you're just walking with a dog and when then suddenly you look look over here and What brought the tide to this town? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, there is one face and another face? Mm. <sighs> For someone who used to have a empty field behind his house, this artwork is... I w <sighs> it's great. This is the worst fear of all hardcore graffiti writers. <laughs> Another one. I really, really, really like this one. Yeah. I'm kind of scared that I get, I can get so excited about such a creepy artworks, but you know, some of them are just creepy, but this is just, I, I love it. Yeah. Maybe there's something wrong with me. <laughs> and another one. Big, scary creature. And then there is this small little guy. I don't know. I just, I just love it. Hey. Alright guys, so these were the creepy artworks. And right now it is time to look at our Reddit and your creations. I guess that your artworks or memes are not so terrifying. Super Mario Toasted created me. Yeah, I, I, I like this one. This is, this is a really good artwork. I want to show you something. 
this is this is my artwork that I created a while ago. And the thing that I wanted to show you is that this is something what maybe I want to do. Chen. When I was looking at the artwork, I was like, mm, nice. But when I see these tags, yes again. I'm sorry. The tags next to pieces. This inside, very well, good job. But these guys over here, nah. I'm really happy with the one, with this one. The feeling when you're happy with your sketch is one of the best feelings that you can achieve. What's cool about graffiti is all the colors, backgrounds, faints, techniques, <laughs> letters, bit. Yeah, I, I totally get this. You know, when you show a graffiti artwork to ordinary people, they, they talk about these colors and techniques and effects. But we, mostly, we care just about the letters, how the letters, about the style of the letters. These other things, they're just like, okay, I'll add them over there, but yeah. Oldie that I did last winter. Yeah, I've been already talking about these uh, hip hop old school characters. I don't really like them, but it's a good one. I can't really, I just don't like the style of these characters. Maze from Slovakia, yeah. I'm happy that you say that you are 15 soon. The, the background is a little bit too dirty for me, but I love it. Dog be like, look how they masquerade. <laughs> for all of you who don't know what is this meme about, check out the video over here. You're gonna understand. Me right and good friend few days ago. I really like the style on the right. This is a really, really good style. Maybe a few adjustments, but I, but I really like it. And the left one, I prefer this one. I just prefer prefer this one. 17 years old from Slovakia. Well, you are from Slovakia, so it's amazing. <laughs> Sorry, Germans. No, I mean it. It's 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 good. I don't really like this part over here. It's a little bit correct, also this one, but yeah, good job. Whoa! Can't imagine having a wide wall. Nice. It's great. I, I really like it. It's like this doodle style. I wouldn't put these things over the artwork. They just mess it up. Great one. I'm from Germany, 22 years old. Any tips? Well, you are from Germany, so help yourself. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I really like it. Maybe I would put more more contrast into shadows. Like I would make some some free free. It's not a shadow. It's a free. -dy. I would make some parts more dark. But yeah, I, I like it. And if we want to talk about the tags, I don't like this one over here. Like, not at all. But this one is okay. Okay, so there is some guy. He's tagging. Okay, this reminds me when I was young. Yeah, totally me. But I can't really support this. It's, it's, it's not good. 24 New York, first piece down on my longboard. Okay, the first thing that immediately caught my attention is the mess in your car. Why? Why do you have... Why? But if you want to talk about longboard, I, 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 I like it. I don't really like the family graffiti, but the, the doodle background looks good. 13 years old, seven months in graffiti from Slovakia. Okay, so you made this background like a ski background, I guess that you were skiing somewhere. But this graffiti doesn't really fit there. It doesn't have a p position over there. It's just there. And maybe you should be focused just on one thing at the time. Found this in Sweden. That was not me. I've never been in Sweden. What do you think about my TV? Good one. Hello from Germany. 26 years old. Yeah, quite good. I would make the shadows bigger. Much bigger. Because, for example, over here it's it's quite thick, and over here it's just thin. Try to keep the shadows uh, the same size all around the piece. This spray paint can. This is completely normal thing. The only problem that this guy is having is that his cap is... Uh, he needs just a new cap, that's it. S-B-H-H. -H. Nice. The letters are a little bit crooked, but the overall effect is great. First time spray. Guys, if you go spray painting for the first time, you shouldn't be doing illegal graffiti if you just, if you do it for the first time. 
I mean, okay, I've been also doing tags. Like, yeah, this is funny. It is funny because when I was young, I was basically doing the same thing. And right now I'm just like, oh, why are you doing this? And yeah, guys, I have to say that I really enjoyed this episode. If you enjoyed it too, Tamba would be awesome. And I don't really know when I'll be able to paint on my own because my belly it needs to, I can't really do any hard physical activities. So hopefully see you soon. Keep posting into Dog Squad. Your artworks, memes, whatever you find interesting. Thanks for watching and see you next time.